In the past couple weeks, two very high-profile jerks have been fired. Scott Forstall's out at Apple, Steven Snofsky's out at Microsoft. But the thing is that you kind of need a jerk if you're going to make something in this world. You need a leader. You need somebody with vision. Somebody's going to get angry when they don't get what they want. So we're out here in New York City to ask people what kind of boss they want to work for, a jerk or a pushover. So would you rather work for a jerk or a pushover? Uh, pushover. I think I'd rather work for the jerk. Yeah, I would rather work for the jerk. So would you rather work for a jerk or for a pushover? A pushover. A pushover? Why would you rather work for a pushover? Because you can push them over. Yeah. Why do you think a better boss is a pushover instead of a jerk? Uh, because then I have a little bit more control in the situation and I don't have to deal with a negative residue. What does negative residue mean? Ew, where you just have to confront someone. <laughs> no, it's a real thing. Look it up. Google negative residue. What? I mean, I have a number of residue-related questions to ask you. I'm just gonna let it go. Uh, yeah, let it go. Would you rather work for a jerk or a pushover? Um, a pushover. Oh, I guess I'd rather work for a pushover. Would you rather work for a jerk or a pushover? A jerk. I'd rather work for a jerk. A jerk? Yeah. Well, it's a challenge. Would you rather work for a jerk or a pushover? Pushover. The jerk, I, I don't want to be sexist, but if they don't like you, they can make your life miserable, that's all. Why would that be sexist? Well, female. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like won't it. go to jail. Well, You're not going to go to jail. Uh, worst boss I've ever had was probably um, working for, like, can't say the name. I'm not going to name names or anything. The worst boss I've ever had, um, Ray Brown. <laughs> say the name. Shame him. <laughs> Ray Brown, you are a jerk. If you had to characterize yourself as a boss, which one are you? Pushover. Yeah, pushover. <laughs> More than a jerk. Yeah. Your friend's laughing at you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just doing some interviews about uh, like the workplace and like it's how you like your... Oh, that's so good. Hey, I'm sorry, man. 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 Yeah, me too. Can't believe I have to work this hard. This is just like the worst. Like it's like Friday afternoon. Everyone's going home. It's super cold. Uh, and I have to be out here doing my little song and dance for my jerk boss. This is great. I wonder if Josh knows I'm here. So what have we learned today? We've learned that although it's no fun, most people know they need to work for a jerk. They need somebody with vision, leadership. Somebody who's gonna get the job done, get the project off the ground. But just as inevitably, the jerks get replaced with somebody younger, somebody more handsome, somebody who's frankly more well-liked. So here's to you, Steven Sanofsky. And here's to you, Scott Forstall. And here's to you, Josh Topolsky.